Hadrilla spreads very easily and is probably the fastest growing aquatic plant. It, it, can, it can exist under the dark and grow under other plants, but later in the summer, in, in late June and July and August, this plant can grow as much as an inch per day or more. And so, when, and, so, and when it gets to the top, it really starts to grow and spread out, and it can outcompete other plants. So you may start out with one little plant, one little tuber, and then at the end of the year, this thing is just going to grow like you're fertilizing it, and it's going to completely take over your lake or pond. You can tell it's hydrilla 100% because of this tuber at the end. This tuber is, is what makes this plant persist and, and causes us to have to treat for it up to five years. Uh, this plant's a little weak because it came from a plant that was treated with herbicide already. Uh, when you look for hydrilla, you're looking for a central stem with whirls of leaves around it. The numbers of leaves can vary anywhere from three to eight. The other thing about hydrilla is that normally the leaf looks very rough on the surface and if, if we had a big enough leaf where you could easily see it, the edges are actually serrated. Hydrilla spreads very easily by fragmentation. It's actually a submer submerged plant. And so if, if you're boating or fishing and you pull a small piece of it up and, and it breaks off and you don't clean that off of either your boat or your trailer or your fishing equipment, you can easily spread it to another pond. So it's very important when you're out recreating no matter what you do, you need to make sure that you get rid of all vegetation. Uh, check your wheel wells and, and the boat bunks and, and the, the trailer because you can easily move this plant. It, it, may have, it may have come in other ways, but we think it came in by uh, hitchhiking on a trailer. It can easily do that and it can stay alive for a long time out of water. So if you clean, drain, and dry your boat, you'll make sure that you won't transplant uh, a very nasty aquatic weed that takes years to get rid of into your own lake or pond.